What's up guys, Cass here, aka GiveWave Studios, here to show you how to use your GiveWave Studios Doctor Strange Spell this prop. Uh, if you purchased this kit on Etsy, thank you very much. If you're watching the video just to kind of get an idea how to make your own, uh, I hope this helps too. So, <clears throat> uh, your laser cut disc comes in your package as well as this little thing. Uh, you'll notice that there's a cable hanging from your disc. Don't worry about that. We'll get to that in a second. I'm going to show you guys how to basically maneuver this. Uh, so there is a, a U-ring on the back here, clear U-ring, that's connected to the disc. And this is basically what you use to just kind of prop it onto your hand. You can use two fingers, three fingers. I mean, you know, everyone's finger thickness is different. So whatever is more comfortable to you, you can also do kind of like the fist method for like the, uh, the shields and the, the deflection and all that stuff that he does with the spells. All right, now that that's out of the way, um, we also have a little package here that you get with this. And that's gonna contain your remote control to on off your prop so you don't have to fiddle with it. You can change colors. Also get a, a 1200, 1200 uh, milliamp hour battery. Uh, these come in assorted colors, so you might get pink, you might get black, you might get silver, you might get gold. Um, they all work. Don't worry about it. And uh, also uh, a little Giveaway Studios booklet, just giving you guys like uh, features and how to take care of your prop and uh, charge the battery properly. Uh, all right, so these we don't need these for now. We're gonna put these back in the bag. And we're gonna get to how to use the prop. Now, Doctor Strange, as you well know, especially the MCU one, he has uh, the bracelet that he wears in the movie. And so this prop is made for people who are kind of doing a, a, a screen accurate version or maybe any type of like sorcerer uh, that has some type of bracer because that's where your electronics are going to uh, get hidden. Uh, so we're gonna start first by connecting our prop. And then using our remote, I'm going to turn it on. Sometimes it takes a couple of presses, as you can tell, but once it's on, it's on. Right. Gorgeous uh, white we got going on. We got our red, blue, green, purple. Um, so there are preset colors, but you can also just kind of cycle through colors just by pressing the color button on the remote. Uh, we're going to use green because I'm sure it shows up really nicely on the camera and especially the orange mat of my table here. All right, so basically uh, how to go about this, you can literally you see how this is kind of bent onto itself. That's literally it. So you would hide this inside of your Doctor Strange bracer. I have a long sleeve, or actually I have two long sleeves on me. Tuck it in inside of both. All right, once that's in there, slide that into your hand and there's literally less than like three quarters of an inch of cable showing. Uh, now this does come raw. You can paint this uh, whatever color you'd like if you think it, it camouflages more with your outfit, by all means, uh, feel free to do so. But that's basically it. Now you're just like a Sorcerer Supreme, just manipulating space and time, right? And changing colors at a whim with your remote control in your back pocket. No one needs to know. No one needs to know. All right. Cool. That's pretty much it. And so, uh, there is a <clears throat> quick disconnect here. Uh, so let me turn this off. So let's say you have your thing tucked in and you're at the con, you're getting ready to you know, go get some food or something like that. Um, instead of having to maybe unravel your bracer or anything like that, you can quickly just disconnect it from inside your arm, just kind of lift, pop it out. That way your battery and the rest of your um, your RF receiver stays inside of your bracer. And when you're ready, you can just plug it back in and get right back to things, all right? So let's go over some of the, oh, also important uh, and worth noting, there is, an arrow on the black tip and there's also uh, a red indicator 
on the RF receiver itself. Now these two arrows need to be facing each other when you put it, because if you plug it in the wrong way, it won't turn on. It's not gonna mess up the prop, but uh, it definitely won't turn on. So pay attention to that before you be like, oh, giveaway, what's going on? My prop's not working. Well, did you plug it in backwards? Oh, right, I did. There you have it. All right, so it does have a couple of modes. Um, so you can cycle through some of the modes, which um, pretty much just kind of color fade and stuff like that. So there's a couple of single color fades uh, there's multiple colors where it kind of goes through everything. There's a flashing mode uh, and you can also increase the speed on this, right? Really fast or really slow. So I'm going to keep cycling through the modes for you guys, kind of like flashing blue. Uh, color fade, it's like a seven color fade. This is probably like a five color fade three color fade and like a single color fade. So it's kind of like a pulsing. So I could go, let me see if I can, yeah. So in the blue, it's probably a better contrast with the table. Uh, I can go really fast on this or I can bring it down. Just slow it down so as you're walking, it's just kind of like your powers are kind of pulsating. Uh, it doesn't do the flickering effect or anything like that. If you guys want to mess with the electronics, by all means, go ahead, but this setup is the minimum that I could bring everything down so that everything is just really nice, clean, compact, and you don't have to worry about anything. Plus, you already have a bunch of features included in the control, so that's it. Turn off, and you're ready to rock. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, uh, thank you for supporting all the social media stuff. Give Wave on Instagram and on uh, Twitter and YouTube, and Facebook, and all that good stuff. All right, cheers guys, see you guys soon, peace.